Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be making um, a quick shrimp and pasta, butter, garlic, spicy. Um, yeah, I don't really have a name for this. This is just um, one of the quickest things I can think to make to keep up with the theme of the 30 minute or less dinner. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I already have the shrimp set to the side and marinated. It was sitting in the marinade for about 40 minutes, a little over a half hour. Um, everything that I put into that, I will show you in just one second. For now, in the back, back here, I have the water for the pasta boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the pasta into the boiling water. So I'm just gonna be using some thin spaghetti. So the water's already seasoned. All I did was pour some accent salt into it, which is, oops, sorry, this here. Um, I don't really use table salt or sea salt often, but you can if you want. It doesn't really make a difference. So I'm just gonna let that go for a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my burner on where I'm gonna put my shrimp. And that's just kind of relaxing and getting the olive oil down because I'm going to need it. Again, just smooth extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to put that in the back for now. So what I used in my shrimp marinade was red pepper flakes, garlic powder, accent salt, and this Fiesta Ranch dip sauce. So it's just like a powder form. So I just added a few teaspoons of each. I'm not really sure how many teaspoons of each, but I did just add a few teaspoons of each thing. I didn't really count, I don't really count. I just kinda do it that way so that I'm not over seasoning it because I do get heavy handed when it comes to seasoning. So I like to portion it off beforehand. If I need more, I'll add more. So you can use whatever you're comfortable with or however much you want to use. It's not a definite science. It's just how I did it. So I just want to show you something quick and easy. You can make your own modifications as necessary. So this right here, I know you probably wonder, and I have this whole extra pot that's just sitting here. I'm going to also make some spinach. So I'm going to let that sit for a little while. I'll turn that on in a minute. So long as this is heated up a bit nicely, I will go through the rest of what's in those containers in a moment. I do not know how much of this I just used. However much that much is. Because I don't need a lot of that because I'm also going to add butter. about a stick of butter about eight tablespoons I probably have more or less I don't really care I just kind of took some big gloves and separated it so what I'm going to do with the first batch of butter is put it in here to cook these shrimps I'm just going to let my pan heat up just a little bit more as soon as it starts to make a little sound then I don't know sounds about right Better. Then I'm going to go ahead and just add my shrimp in. Okay, I'll put that off to the side. 
So this, my version of this is probably gonna be pretty spicy because I did use a lot of red pepper flake as well as that Fiesta Ranch sauce. It has a nice zesty kick to it. So if you do not like hot stuff, you do not have to use those ingredients. You can use whatever ingredients that you have in your pantry. That's just what I have on hand. Also, I like spicy food. And that is the second tablespoon of butter or round about. So I'm gonna kinda let that melt down in there. So I'm just gonna leave that alone for a second. Put this off the side. So while that's getting to know each other, I'm gonna go ahead and check on these noodles. Which are doing pretty well back here. Almost ready to be drained. So I'll put them just a little while longer. So this doesn't take long to cook at all. This shrimp takes a few minutes. Um, the water really, <laughs> the water in the marinating time, the way for the water boiling in the marinating time is really what takes the longest in this recipe. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the burner on for my spinach. So I already have the water sitting here. I'm just gonna bring it to a boil once that's boiling. I'll add the spinach. I'm not gonna be using fresh spinach. I'm going to be using frozen prepackaged spinach because for me it's just easier that way. That way it shaves down off the time you don't have to be in here. So long. I'm trying to keep you out of the kitchen. So I wanna make it, you know, no more than a half hour. The mushrooms are pretty much cooked through. It doesn't take these long at all. Just trying to flip some of them over to make sure that they get evenly cooked. So here I just have some minced garlic. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the shrimp. Mix that in well. So, again, if you don't want to cook it too long because you don't want your shrimp to have that rubbery consistency, a few minutes is all it takes. So, once you start to smell your butter, like really fragrance, like the fragrance from the garlic, real good, and the butter, then that's fine, I mean, it's pretty much married together. Just leave it on to make point one. So after that, next is lemon juice. I do not know how much this is. This is not fresh lemon juice. This is lemon juice out the bottle. Um, this is like five or six squeezes. After that, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my butter. So I added two, so this is about six uh, tablespoons of butter, around about. So I'm gonna give that butter a chance to melt down and get settled in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start moving some of these things off to the side. So, so I know you guys are probably wondering why these things are still back here. We're gonna use them later. So these two will be our last two ingredients that we add to our shrimp. So my noodles sound like they are doing wonderful back there. And they are perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn fire off the dough and I'm gonna go ahead and drain them, they're ready.
So when you drain your noodles, make sure that you drain them well. Get as much of the excess water off as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. But just do the best you can do. Because you don't want it to be too waste because then it will bury into your sauce well. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that in the back for a second. So my water is starting to boil for my spinach. So I'm going to go back and get this butter together. Yeah, you're supposed to add some chicken broth to this. I don't buy chicken broth, so I'm going to go ahead and use some chicken powder. And some water. And kind of stir that in. So I'm actually getting ready to turn this down. Now I'm going to make a little slurry with some cornstarch and water. Not cornstarch. I think it is cornstarch. Hold on. I'm never sure what this stuff is called. It is cornstarch. Okay, so to make the slurry, you just add a little bit of cornstarch and cold water. Stir it together and then you mix that into the food and then thicken up a bit. Guys, this is how much cornstarch I'm going to use. Add a little cold water to that. And just mix it together. This thing they call it a slurry. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this. I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way down. It's already starting to thicken up. Keep in mind when you're using the cornstarch and water, it might not seem like it's thick at first. You could have just added too much water, but it will thicken up. So try not to add too much cornstarch. Everything's pretty much done. I can actually go ahead and turn it off and just kind of let those guys chill out there. Get to thicken up a little bit. And now we go back to our spinach. Let's go grab that. And for the spinach, I don't really have a special method to this. It's already air boiled, so I'm just going to kind of pour this in here. I know it's spinach and it always looks like a lot, but by the time it cooks down, it's never really much. consistency it's not too thick and it's definitely not watery we don't want that and you'll see why you don't want it too thin or watery in a moment so when it's doing that I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid on it and just move it just a little bit not all the way off the fire but just a little bit so that it's still boiling but not too much so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the, um, the top to this a jar so that way you can still cook and trap that in there but not overcook it so I'm going to go ahead my spatula off and try and break down some of this frozen spinach just make it 
little bit, not too much. chips up off there. So this is what that's looking like. And my noodles back there are just chilling they're done. They're just waiting for a home. too long don't forget about it because it will get done pretty quickly you don't want it to be stuck to the pan or anything like that so again I'm gonna go ahead and just stir these shrimp which smells so good it smells amazing my hair I wish you guys could smell it Clear some of these dishes out of the way. So guys, this didn't take too long at all. Like I said, I promise I'm not gonna keep you in the kitchen all night because I know a lot of time you guys get off work or after you just had a long day, you don't want to be standing here for hours. So this was another quick recipe that I could think of. It doesn't take too long that everybody usually loves. So I'm just going to go ahead and check that sandwich again. I don't know what it is, but I love the smell of like spinach. Like I can't even describe what smell it is, but I love it. It's pretty much Almost done, there's just a couple of chunks that are still frozen. So that's not going to take too much longer. And once that's done, we're just going to go ahead and start putting everything together and just make one big meal. So I did take the parsley flakes out because originally I was not going to make any spinach. I was just going to make the pasta and the shrimp and I was going to use the parsley flakes as a garnish but because I'm going to add the spinach you won't even be able to see the parsley of course the parsley has a taste but it's not even that big of a deal so I'm just going to go ahead and add the spinach to this so like I said it shouldn't be too much longer just waiting for it to time to get those last few chunks of ice out I just added some accent salt to that as you saw I didn't really measure that just a few shapes I don't know how much a few shakes is, but do whatever you feel comfortable with how you usually season your food. I like my stuff to be very flavorful, so I usually tend to use a lot of seasoning. Um, yeah, like I was saying earlier about the salt thing, I won't be using like table salt or sea salt because all the other seasonings already have salt in them, so you don't need that much salt. I mean, you can use salt if you want to, that's your preference, but I just choose not to. Okay, so the last few ice chunks that were being holding on are kind of out of there, so I'm just going to go ahead and start scooping this into the shrimp. This ain't more than I thought it would. So I'm taking my time because I don't want any of that extra, there's not much, but I don't want any of that extra juice in here. Put 
this is set. I'm gonna stir this in. It's going crazy for a second, but bear with me. Take your time when you are stirring this. You don't want to accidentally burn yourself. Usually I would have used the half a bag of spinach, but I thought that that bag was going to be enough. Turns out it was a bit much. And that's fine too. There's no really right or wrong way to do this. You do it too. Whatever your preference is, whatever your family's preference is. So my noodles I'm back here chilling. Just going to go ahead and. Toss a few of those in. So once you feel like everything is to your liking and your preference, it's done. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna put some little balls. Sorry about all that noise. I was not prepared, darling. So this was a nice, quick, easy. Every day, just got off of work. Yeah. See, it's nice and pretty. So if you want, you can even take it a step farther, add some Parmesan cheese or like breadcrumbs to the top. Whatever is up to your standards, whatever you like, how your taste buds work. So we are done for the day. Thank you guys for coming to see me again and cooking with me. I'm so glad you guys can make it. So... Bye. See you guys later.